Field been shown the one to go side next time by. Going to be going green flag racing. Joey, the backstretch flagman, shows them one. Driver's going to be looking for that green flag. Spotter's going to be watching the flagman. Greg looks them over. Everybody standing on the gas. Green flag's out for racing. Some contact there going down into turn one between the zero machine and the 19. Troy Robinson in the zero.
Road 61, Tony Carino. Bill Morrison spins down into the bottom of the track. Carino backs it into the front straightaway wall. Meet everybody down in turn number one to back away from the railing and the fence. I know you can hear me.
taking the win, the number one of Wayne Jefferson. Hey, this is cool. Listen to this. Can you guys hear that hissing? The right rear tire is going flat, man. And, and, and on top of that, if something broke in the valve train, we're fine to go. I mean, it was missing. I didn't think I was going to make it. Well, the Rocket Man was running on last fumes on that last lap then, man. What a great race, bud. Yeah, it was a pretty good race there. We got lucky, I guess, on that call there. Them guys got together, but uh, I think we were good enough to get them. But uh, just depends. You know, you see the right rear is going down, and uh, I thought it was getting a little loose there. But then uh, something broke in the valve train there, we're five to go. So we just let her eat, basically, and hope they didn't catch us. So. I just got. I got to thank. I got to thank my crew, man. Bill Bryant, my crew chief, and uh, my, my my partner uh, Joey Irwin and Jefferson Irwin racing our new machine shop business, race parts. You know, we've been working hard at it for four months, and uh, this is our new motor that uh, my, my buddy Joey just did. And man, it runs good. We have a little issue here in the valve chain. We'll get that taken care of. But that thing, it's real strong. There you go, taking the win, the number one, Wayne Jefferson. These blue and yellow colors on these cars, man. It looks sharp, especially here underneath the lights. Just ran out of time. His tire's going flat. You can hear it hissing, bud. Yeah, well, this is uh, the second time out with this car. Uh, working out the bugs. We're getting better every time we take it out, so uh, maybe we can run with that one car. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll just keep plugging away at it, though. Oh, you'll be there one day. I'll tell you what. Anybody you want to thank tonight? Oh, there, I said that again. <laughs> Yeah, uh, obviously John Rogers and uh, Eric Rudd called me up to uh, drag me out of the out of the boat and back to racing and goofing around. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a lot of work, but uh, it's worth it when you can put her up here in the top three anyway. Well, we're glad you did. Finish in second to the number two, Scott Cliver. Hear your third place finish to the number twelve, Eric. I tell you. You were, you were looking hard on the inside of Scotty there a couple of times. I thought you had him, but he closed the door on you down there and won. Yeah, it's, uh, I was just getting a little more bite there at the end, and it just I didn't want to tear it up. i got to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Johnny brings us out here week in, week out. He gives us the money to do this. You know, I'd like to really thank him. You know, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, John. Uh, my wife, my new spotter. It's been a great night. It was. Good to see you back up in the top three again. Congratulations. Finish the third. The number 12, Eric Rudd.